Hello, I'm Fast Logger with Oculus Rift Reviews, not with Windows Mixed Reality. Today we're going to do a review and let's play. This is a full review and let's play combo for VR Tender. <laughs> VR Tender is a game on the Steam Store for the HTC Vive and the Valve Index. It retails for 99 cents. It's rated mostly negative. So yesterday I rated a game that's rated most uh, very positive on Steam and I gave it a negative review. Today I'm doing the opposite. This game is mostly negative and I'm going to give it a positive <laughs> review. Yes, I'm a renegade. Uh, but no, I, I really like this game, especially for 99 cents. I think it's a great deal. Uh, I actually bought it on sale, 49 cents. So I paid 50 cents for this game. And I think that's a great deal for this game. 99 cents is also a great deal. I mean, come on. <laughs> don't, be, don't be that much of a cheapskate like, like me. Doesn't even want to pay a dollar for a game. Wants to only play 50 cents. Wants to only pay 50 cents for a game. D don't do that. Uh, this is fun. You know, this is better than the free one. So there are several free ones in VR. You know, bartending games in VR. There's several free ones. There's paid ones that cost more than this one. That are probably better. Obviously, the graphics aren't great. You do need a room scale, though. I've tested this out on both Oculus Rift and Windows Mixed Reality. I know for the Oculus Rift, you have to do the Windows 7 compatibility fix. So if you don't know what that is, don't buy this game. <laughs> if you know what that is, you know, hey, just do the fix. It, it works, but you do need a pretty big play space. In fact, I can't reach, a, reach the darts because my room doesn't go over there. Uh, I mean, I could, I could mess around with it to make it work, but I'm not going to do it for this game since I don't really need to reach all the way over there uh, to play the game. So let's go ahead and play. Let me show you. So this is a bartending game. You all know how it works. So basically, to start the game, you just serve this dude. Easy. You want a beer, sir? Now, you notice some things like... It doesn't matter how much of the ingredients you put into the drink. Uh, the glasses don't really break. Um, the, the liquids don't really spill over. But you do have limited quantities. So you do have to restock. Restock is just a, a simple button push. It does take money away from you. But it's really not a big deal. You always end up making money. This is more of a relaxed gameplay. So there's a lot of bartending games where you have to go really quick. This one is not like that. It's more closer to a sim. Even though a lot of the controls are very basic. Hello, sir. How can I help you? What do you want today? A boiler maker. Oh, man. I, I forgot what that is. In a pint. Beer and whiskey in a pint. Well, that was simple, actually. Should remember that one. Okay. Beer. Coming up. Ah. Uh, it does do that. It does let go of the beer tap really easily. I don't know why. Here is your boiler maker, sir. All right, sir. How can I help? Uh, what? You're under 21. Get out of here. Get. Shoo. Be gone. I ain't giving you no drinks. I'll give you an ice cube is what I'll give you. Oh, can't pick up the ice cube. <laughs> Can I get my ID? No, get out of here. <laughs> Already threw his ID away. Sorry, sir. <laughs> How can I help you, sir? Shot of whiskey. All right, let's give you a whiskey shot. Can I do a shot with you, sir? Or ma'am? Whatever the case is, I can't tell. All right, here you go. Like I said, you can't really drop drinks. You saw it go tilt to the side. It didn't do anything. Whiskey sour. Ooh, what's this whiskey sour? Uh, whiskey with a lemonade or what? In a tumbler? Okay. Should have guessed that one. Lemon, right? Lemon, lemon. Okay. B boiler maker? We didn't, didn't we just make a boiler maker? Oh, man. So, I'm just going to get a new glass rather than try to pet fetch that one. There does seem to be issues with picking up the glass. Um, like you highlight items to pick them up. And if you don't highlight the right thing, it doesn't pick it up. So there is an issue with picking up. Or there can be an issue with picking up. So you got to highlight it correctly and then pick it up. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. 
All right, so I believe that's our Sunday night. All right, not bad. We got to make more money though. So we got some cola. As you can see, some items open up the longer that you play. It's kind of slow paced. Uh, and as you can see, there's vodka. Oh, got a. We don't have enough to buy tequila. So we're gonna buy some of the other stuff to uh, be able to make more drinks and stuff. Shot of whiskey, all right. Let's make you a shot of whiskey. Whiskey man, let's go. There you go, sir. You have a great day. You have a great night, all right. Go get you some. All right. You don't need to restock. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. How can I help you? Yes. What would you like? Whiskey on the rocks. All right. My man. Oh, crap. Put another ice in there just there we go looks great yep obviously whiskey neat okay my man doesn't want to ice down his alcohol good call good call why would you ice why would you water down your alcohol right you're paying the same price might as well get the full alcohol with it right alcoholics anonymous right yep yep <laughs> Well, we love repeat customers. See you again soon, sir. All right, step on up. How can I help you? Sir? Whiskey sour. Whew. Didn't we just do a whiskey, whiskey? Ooh, wow. So as you can see, some of the physics. Ooh. So we're going to get a little lemonade. Get a little whiskey. And then put some ice on it. Here's your whiskey sour. Looks great, obviously. Shot of whiskey, ooh. All right, we're almost out of whiskey. In fact, we're completely out right now. We gotta restock. Looks great, obviously. Restock. So as you can see, we just hit, hit the restock button. We get more whiskey. Simple. And let's get some upgrades, because I want to serve some other stuff. All right, so. Oh, vodka. All right, <laughs> vodka. Now this is going to get interesting. Let's end the night. Tuesday night, all right. Party night, let's go, let's go. So you gotta be very careful with the tap because it's easy to, to for it to let go on its own, even if you don't want to. Keep in mind though, Windows Mixed Reality is not officially supported, so I can't say shot of tequila. Alright. My man. I respect that one. Tequila. Here you go. Alright, man. Drink a shot with you. Alright. I can help you. I can help you. Light ugh, light beer. Come on, man. Go to a bar and order light beer. Oh man. Now I've seen everything. Light beer. Oh my god. Alright, here's your light beer and get out of here, man. We we don't want your kind in here. Yes, sir, I can help you. Whiskey on the rocks. Alright, well if you want to water down your whiskey, I guess I can't stop you. Ah. Uh. See, it's hard to pick up items sometimes because they're not highlighted correctly. I mean, for 99 cents, this is a nice game, but it's definitely not a smooth, polished experience. It's a little little clunky, 
picking up items. You've seen some of the physics where stuff just goes flying all over the place. But it's definitely better than the free ones. You know, and it's a relaxed pace. So, sure, later on, you know, there's more items. It's easy. But, you know, the customers are, are pretty much come at a manageable rate so far. It hasn't been, you know, too crazy. And night, let's see, can I buy anything? Rum 200. Night 7, entertain. I have no idea how to entertain. Maybe it has something to do, to do with throwing the darts, but I can't reach the darts, so I can't do that. Whiskey on the rocks. So that's simple. So yeah, I like this game, but there are definitely some issues. Uh, the physics, you know, items just flying, you know, grabbing items, it, it's not very polished. Definitely the, the graphics aren't great, you know, the customers. But I like how they're realistic drinks. It's only 99 cents. I definitely like the system. It's you know it's one of those games that's more relaxing to play. It's not it's not challenging, so it's not like they're going too fast. But you know you gotta check the IDs, make sure they're not giving you fake IDs. Uh, I'm not sure why sometimes only sometimes they have ID and not all the time. There you go. Screwdriver, ice, vodka, orange juice in a tumbler. it looks great man get out of here with that <laughs> all right so yeah that's my gameplay for vr tender um i actually got some good amount of cash so i might just do one upgrade and then call it a night but yeah i mean it's fun for what it is it's not like one of those party games where you're just having to go really fast i gotta serve one more beer to get a dark beer i still don't know how to entertain i think it has to do with throwing darts but i just i just can't reach over there and Ooh, we got some rum now. Gotta end the night. So, yeah, we almost got the full thing, at least up front. You know, back here, we still got lots of stuff to do. So, yeah, there's lots of drinks. Definitely lots of uh, orders to get and learn. Shot of whiskey. Oh, that's easy. I might have one with you, sir. It's gonna be a long night. Gotta start it off right. Anyways, this is VR Tender. I'm Fast Lawyer. I tested this out on both Oculus Rift and Windows Mixed Reality. It's only 99 cents. I bought it for 49 cents. I think it's a great deal. Definitely recommend. But yeah, uh, it's not a great game, but I but I do recommend it. I think it's it's a good game for what the price is, which is 99 cents. It's, it's a good deal. Um, it works. Yeah, it's clunky. It's not the most smooth or polished experience, but but it works and yeah, you know It's a low pressure Live out your bartender fantasy simulation type game There's better options, but they cost a lot more. Anyways. Thank you. Have a wonderful night Goodbye <laughs>